He loves spicy, porky things, and this is definitely the dish for you. And with beautiful, silky eggplant, ah, oh, it's got everything. This is my version of Szechuan pork and braised eggplant. I love Szechuan flavors, they're so badass, with the spiciness and the numbing and the tingling and the saltiness and oh, all the good things. Let's do that numbing, tingling part first. That comes from the Szechuan peppercorns. So that's these guys here, and I just want to get them into a pan and give them a nice little toasting, and that's going to release more of their aromas and flavors. And once I can see these just starting to smoke a little bit, I'll take them off and get them into my mortar, and just grind those to a fine powder. Okay, so this is the kind of thing you're looking for. And now a couple of things to prepare here before we get into our wok. Uh, I want some ginger. And I want this ginger very finely chopped. And now the spicy part. I've got some large dried red chilies here. And you could make this dish a little milder by just using the chilies whole. But by slicing them up and using the seeds as well, these guys are going to get very fiery. And now for the eggplant. I'm just going to cut this into some nice chunky bits and pieces. Now to salt or not to salt. So the reason given for salting most of the time is that it counteracts the bitterness in the eggplant. Now I find modern varieties of eggplant these days don't really have that bit of flavor. So I tend to go without the salting unless I want a very dry eggplant texture and then I'll go ahead and do some salting. But that's more about the texture rather than the flavor. So these are good to go as they are because I actually want more moisture coming out of that eggplant and into my sauce. So to get the cooking going, I need a little bit of oil. Now add in the ginger and the chili and some finely chopped garlic as well. And already that smell is making me incredibly hungry. Something about that mixture of garlic and ginger and chili gets me every time. Now in goes my pork mince. Now you could use beef mince here as well if you prefer. Now when that pork is almost cooked, I'm going to add in my Szechuan peppercorns. And now all of the flavouring. So soy sauce, oyster sauce, some vinegar. If you can get a hold of some Chinese black vinegar, that would be amazing. I've just got some white vinegar here, so either is fine. A little dash of sugar and some chicken stock and some Chinese Shaoxing wine. So this adds a really beautiful, fragrant aroma and flavor to this dish. If you wanted to leave it alcohol free, just add in some extra chicken stock. And when that sauce has come back up to a little simmer, I'm going to add in my eggplant. Okay, mix that through really well. Now cover this with a lid. Turn the heat down to about a medium and let that simmer for half an hour. You do want to come back and check it every so often because if the liquid evaporates too much and it's starting to burn, just add a little bit more water. Oh, how the smell is that? So amazing. Oh, I can't wait for you guys to try this one. Okay, so a little bit of thickening at the end here. I want to make this super glossy and I want that sauce to really stick to the pork and the eggplant. So I'm going to add some cornstarch mixed with a little bit of water and you'll see almost instantly that sauce magically thickens up. And now we're ready to serve this up. See how soft and beautifully silky that eggplant is? Oh, amazing. Add a sprinkling of spring onion and you are good to go, my friends. Okay, let's try this out. I tell you what, mm. the texture, first of all, that beautiful silky creamy eggplant, but then that flavor kind of punches you in the mouth. The Szechuan peppercorns, mm, the chili, the saltiness of the sauce. Oh, this is one epic dish.
Mm -hmm. mm. So good. Mm, spicy too. If you've got any comments or questions, pop them below. And if you enjoyed the video, why not hit that subscribe button plus the little bell one, and that way you'll get notified every time I release a new video. Thanks, guys. Food.